I need lighting from the source in my monitors I add edit with the LED striper okay here we go Tada! It's more like right? Yep. Okay. Today, uh, I want to demonstrate that I have a project about the oxygen concentrator. This requires to read the oxygen, pressure, temperatures, and a flow of oxygen. Okay. I have two sensor that calibrated the one sensor is oxygen OCS and the second one is freezers transmitter and transducers uh, sensors with the type is Wisner this is Wisner type uh, a1 key 4 this means that uh, A is the series and 1 is the code products and G is uh, tem uh, uh, a range specification of measuring and the 4 is about the mountains is uh, around 4 I think the diameters right 1 per 4 okay you got it okay okay we're gonna try how it's work so requirement for the oxygen concentrators that the output of oxygen is below one bar so I decide to use this sensor this industrial sensor I think this sensor is good for measuring the low range like that I require for the measuring oxygen this uh, series is high quality pressure. Yes, it has to wire for the communications. It has output around uh, 4 um, to 20 milliamperes. This is small ampere, right? So, for the modulation of the circuit. It need to convert the ampere to voltage so I decide to modulate the sensor with the uh, resistor around 560 and for protection is 10k ohm so I use the two transistor one is for the ampere to voltage con uh, converters and and the uh, tens kill on for the protection for the voltage increment. So uh, this is with the power supply around 12 volt. I'm using 12 volt because it's like uh, my supply is only 20 volt. So if you want to use 24 volt, it could be. It means I think you are using PLC right so because I'm using Arduino yeah so I, I'm using the power supply is about 12 volt 12 volts is uh, enough I think okay about the sensor you can read the 71 G is about the series right so the actual series that I have is a VPT uh g1 okay like this vpt z1 okay so we're gonna read this specification the specification so g1 is trans a uh, pressure transmitter with the m4365 0a electrical connection the specification output is a the series A means the output is will 4 to 20 milliamperes 
and the series Misereins is one. The series one is mean it means zero to one bar, and the Z means is all type maltreat is like a big S P P, right? And the the last is four is about uh, mounting of the output oxygens for miser. It means one per four inch. Okay, so this is the example. Okay, that I have the sensor. That's the series is seventy G A one G four. Okay, you got it. VPT seventy. Z seventy one Z A one Z four. Okay, you got it right. Okay, this is the example. So you can read the specification of your sensor based on this table. Okay. Okay. Next, for this uh, time, uh, we will try our my sensors. Yeah, my sensors about VP, uh, Wisner VPT 71G. Okay, here we go for the code. Okay, this is the code. The coding I have served for you. You can try this. And this method I'm using, a uh, method is uh, Ampere to voltage converter. Thing. This is my sensors. This is Wisner Type 70Z A1G4. Right? Can I read this sensor? Okay, this is my specification sensor. Okay, this is my circuit sensor. can see yep there's two resistor is one resistor for uh, ampere to voltage converter is required to read uh, ampere converter to fold con the fold the in range 0 to 5 volts and a 10 kilo ohm is protection for the signals so if something that uh, happen worst case like uh, uh, increasing of voltage it can it can be saved by things so this is the the schematics okay you can make it by yourself i will serve the schematic in documentation okay just see in my documentation okay so i need to look in the cables Okay, wait moments. Looks first. Okay. Okay. This work. Yep. And then this is the crown. I have the crown in here. So you can try this in your schematics. And this is the output. Today I'm using uh, ADC converters like uh, analog to digital converters uh, using uh, the ADS one one triple one and five yeah eleven and fifteen I think <laughs> some some people will spelling is different in way okay. This is Chrome. Uh, I'm looking here. You can see it, yeah. Okay, and this is a sensor. I'm using 12 volt supply. Is enough, I think. This is okay. 24, 12 volt supply that I have. And then this is. 
it's work yep next uh, I will upload this code properly yeah wait a moment okay it's gonna upload it man and then yeah it's done okay we check it with serial monitors yeah this is the playlist the playlist of my sensor readings is around uh, ADZ is you can see in the monitors 1968 and the preserves is it's not correct preserve I think because I haven't uh, calibrated it yet so today uh, we just reading this first and, and then uh, in next step we gonna calibrate it well okay so if I give it uh, more preser in here this is the preser will as in inputs so uh, you can see my monitors yeah that will increase the feed out as ADC values okay so if I have the preser in here the preser will increase as the preser the given so <coughs> this work I think so for this method you can use uh, the methods uh, in various methods I think uh, some people will use uh, ADS I think uh, no INA you, you, you can search about the product INA INA is about uh, the readings the ampere measurement I think uh, for the ampere yeah you can use that the second method I'm using the voltage converter from the ampere reading to the voltage reading in the uh, in this case I'm using that that one uh, the things that are requirement to convert the ampere to voltage with a uh, resistor that require for measuring 0 to 5 volts so the sensor make sure that the cable sensor is output about 0 to 20 milliamperes so make sure that you can use the properly for your uh, projects and I think this is good sensor for your projects uh, in case uh, for low uh, pressure measurement I think that's all uh, we next will calibrate the sensor thank you